Good day. We're going to talk today about theology of preaching. I'm here today with Dr. Leroy Martin from uh, Pentecostal Theological Seminary in Cleveland, Tennessee. Uh, he's the author of numerous books and the editor of the book called Toward a Theology of Pentecostal Preaching. I'm Dr. Andrew Gabriel from Horizon College and Seminary and andrewkgabriel.com. So to start our discussion off, uh, Dr. Martin, could you tell us what is a theology of preaching exactly? A theology of something then is what we believe about that subject in relation to God. Right. So a theology of preaching would be what is it that we know about God and what God is doing that informs our preaching. Preaching, of course, is a practice, something that we do. Right. So what is the uh, what is what is the theology that makes us preach or want to preach? It's how 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 our beliefs about God affect what we believe about preaching. Right. So versus say homiletics about how do you preach? How do you communicate right. well? It's like what's the purpose of this? How is yes. God working in it? That mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right. Exactly. So what would be some typical emphases in theology of preaching in general? Well, in general, it would be uh, things like the nature of the gospel mm -hmm. and um, the function of, um, of the human um, preacher in communicating the gospel, um, and then uh, the place of preaching within worship. And then there's also the uh, public aspect, aspects of, of preaching, so um, those outside of Christianity, how is preaching related to evangelism okay. and so on. So right. those are some, just some areas that would be in a theology of preaching. Right. Now, uh, I mentioned that you've edited a book on Pentecostal theology of preaching. Right, right. Or at least toward yes. moving in that direction. <laughs> yeah. So what are some unique uh, perspectives or unique emphases that Pentecostals bring to a theology of preaching? The place of preaching in worship, and, and for Pentecostals, uh, worship is all about encountering the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Worship, uh, proclaiming uh, God's goodness, but giving thanks, giving praise, and then uh, meeting with God. You know, you, t you take the Old Testament uh, uh, image of the tabernacle, wh which was called the tent of meeting. Mm -hmm. And so Pentecostals are very much uh, interested in meeting God. So we would emphasize preaching as one of the, of the places, one of the events mm -hmm. uh, that, that is where we meet God because his word is going forth mm -hmm. and he's, he is present in the preaching of his word. So mm -hmm. when the word is preached, we are meeting God in that moment. Mm -hmm. So Pentecostals, one, one thing that they'll sometimes talk about is, you know, the preaching was really anointed, yeah, or the yeah. preacher was anointed. Right. So how does that fit into Pentecostal theology of preaching, this idea of the anointing? Most of the time, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> people think of anointing as excitement. Yes, the, I'm preacher's, very, really the preacher's very loud. He's really, <laughs> he or she is really anointed today. They're really, because they're louder. Right. Um, but, but, what they really are talking about is the effectiveness, uh, the effectiveness of the preaching of the word to transform the hearer. Mm -hmm. When when a preacher is connected, it's it's like it's like there's a connection. Uh, think of electricity. If you mm -hmm. have a, a an electrical wire coming down here and it's open, mm -hmm. and you, you have electrical wire in your hand, and it's open, but they're not touching, there's no movement of electricity. Mm -hmm. But if I come up here and grab this one, and grab that one, then the, 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 the power of the electricity passes through me into you. Mm -hmm. And in a way, that's what Pentecostal preaching is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So that the preacher is reaching up to God, mm -hmm. and hearing from God, mm -hmm. and passing along uh, not just information, but actually right. the, the passion of God, the, the love of God, the affections of God, the, you know, the heart of God, passing mm -hmm. it to people. Mm -hmm. And so as they're sitting there, if the minister is, is in that moment of a, a very mysterious kind of connectivity, mm -hmm. 
from from the presence of God to the people, then they say, "Oh wow, he's anointed." I really think it's a connect a, a connectivity issue. Right. I appreciate your analogy there because I think a lot sometimes uh, in evangelicalism we can think about preaching just as here's the information, here's how to understand the text, and here's how to live it out. Now go do it. Mm-hmm. Um, but not always as the, you know, we're here to be transformed by God through this very moment, not just right, after right. we leave. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's helpful. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Martin. It was a pleasure. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching.